Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to the movies uh, and something that I hope is the start of our, uh, our big finish. We dropped way down because we had nothing else, uh, nothing else. We went right down to sixth look, um, mostly because uh, we haven't got that many movies out, to be honest with you. Everyone else kind of pushing on the movies and also our capital is pretty low as well. So I'm hoping that today is an episode where we kind of just churn a bit out, right? So um, you're currently... The biggest day in the world. What are you, is that that one? Are you, are you being recorded? Okay, so the biggest day in the world is being uh, filmed at the moment. We're going to get started on a new action movie um, straight away. We just have no stars sitting here, so we can't really do anything other than just another action movie. So uh, let's get down here. And today is going to be about churning out a few movies and maybe looking at just sort of tidying the place up a little bit so that we can start working towards getting some new people in because we just haven't got any staff. And that's for... That goes for not just actors, that's for like, um, uh, just like cleaners and all sorts. We could do with, we could do with loads coming in, but there's just nobody queuing up for a job. Uh, nobody there, nobody there. Um, where else do they queue up? Cast. Action. Nobody over there. Yeah, just, we're really struggling for, uh, struggling, struggling for, uh, for people, unfortunately. So, yeah, we're going to have to deal with what we've got. The biggest day in the world is almost ready to release. That's good. And what are you? Oh, super tech. Um, so we're going to have really good high tech. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop a script into here. When it's done, we're going to tidy it up in the uh, in the Advance Maker. We're not going to start afresh with our action movie. We're going to tidy it up. Make sure that we're using decent sets, really, because that's the main thing I've noticed that they seem to do is... Um, is they is they just keep using the same three or four sets over and over again, and it's a bit miserable. So that's going to be the plan here today. Uh, let's have a look. Cars wise, we're pretty good. We put down all the new cars last time. I think like let's have a look how we're doing. Lot prestige, we have no problem there. Stars, we're doing pretty good. Uh, movies and obviously we didn't do very well on awards last time. So really, we just need to increase our movie. We just need to get some movies out really. So. You know, Space Fight, you guys, is doing great. The biggest day in the world is about to be released. And to be honest with you, I'm just going to release that. I'm not even going to fuss about uh, PR or anything. Unless maybe if the guy... who Where's our guy? Biggest day in the move. Going to the restroom. Uh, it says you're on set. I was going to say, I'll drop one of you in PR, but it doesn't look like I can because you're both on this last... Uh, you're both on this last uh, scene. Okay, let's speed you up a little bit. Let's get the action movie written and produced. Um, anyone who's not busy needs tidying up looks wise. Oh, you're not happy about your salary. Well, we could do something about that. You just had a pretty good movie launch. Quite happy to boost both of their salaries up, really, because... Um, you know, they've got the biggest movie we've got going there. But they should all be on equal pay, really. Okay, happy with that. That'll probably move them up the rankings a little as well, I'd have thought. What else are you not happy about? Um, see, looks and physique, they're doing pretty good, really. They're, his fashion isn't very is good, but his looks isn't very good. What are you... Oh, you're on Biggest Day of the World. Okay. So as soon as you're finished, you're going to go into... into uh, what about you? So your looks, physique, and fashion is pretty good. Your looks, physique, and fashion is pretty good. I'm um, not too worried about the about the those guys' looks as long as their fashion's okay because they're directors. They don't need to look great, do they? I forgot we got him here as our sort of secondary guy. Right. Okay. Script's done. Anyway, so let's drop that into Advanced Movie Maker and have a little look at it. Um, I'm really just hoping that. Uh, that we can who Kieran Nee, you're not you were the lead last time, weren't you? So you can be supporting this time. Saddle in the dust. It looks like a Mexican. Uh, a Mexican, a, a Western. <laughs> um and we have a support in, so who supports? It's gonna have to be an extra. Comedy. Movie non. No action experience. So, any of you got action experience? No. Okay, so Jerry Ashworth, you did pretty well last time, so we'll pop you in there. It's Cara Bright. So, it's using the street. What's the. Um, 
Double click to change the set. What's the uh, the novelty value of that? Where are you? Wild West Street novelty value sixty five. It's not great. Could be better. Um, but I'm I'm not going to change all of them. So it's now just under three stars. I feel like we should probably. No, do you know what? I'm just going to go for it. We need to start churning because we've just got no cash. So let's get casting. We only have one extra. I assume that's because all the other extras are working on biggest day in the world. But that's a better finish. So it's a wrap. That was the last scene, I think. Let's find out if they fill up. When that's done. Okay. Are they automatically going to go there? No. So let's um, let's get you guys straight in there. Okay. So now you can begin. Oh, director need, of course. Uh, which one's our action guy? You're our action guy. Okay, get to work, folks. Uh, in the meantime, we're just we're going to just pop you out. I'm just hoping you win a cheeky million. That's going to be the plan here. Uh, we'll give it a decent budget. Okay, the biggest day in the world is not quite three stars, but all of these should do pretty well, I think. Crew experience still poor. I thought we that crew was getting better now. Yeah. Look at that PR marketing. Good. We didn't do any. Um Let's have a watch of this. We didn't have anything to do with this, I don't think. I think it's another Western. Roy Dent, Wesley Hope, and Ralph Tulis. Yeah, another Western. See, this is the problem. They're using Street again. I think we've had this. I bet this is the pour in the drinks one. Yeah, we. <laughs> it's another remake. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. We've had this. It is funny to be there. Piano that plays itself. <laughs> Always oh, not happy. He's a good comedy actor, though, this guy. He's become our Leslie Nielsen. All right, show off. There we go. So. Yeah, very good. Oh, he's already going out. Oh, he's pulled a gun on somebody for no particular reason. Oh, excuse me for coughing. Oh, it's a bang gun. Ha 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 ha. Oh, God. <laughs> now he's chasing him. And he has given her money. Well, she's been well endowed young lady, isn't she? Um, what's she giving her money for? That's Emily Dredge. Did we give her a boo job? No, they're all running after him. The end. Awesome. What a movie. That should go straight into number one. Uh, review what? Oh, nice bit of nice bit of star there for Raphael Kiamela. Nice. Emily Dredge still on hardly any wages. Why is Gaz Thomas earning so much more than Emily Dredge? That doesn't seem right. Okay, that costs a lot of money. Movies PR and least famous actor here. That's fine as well. Okay, so all that, overall, that's good. That should go pretty high. Six. I'll take it. So hold on, why is I know Gas Thomas is two, but why is he earning so much more than Emily Dredge? Thirty-two and forty-eight. And it shouldn't be that much difference. I'm gonna knock you all down a little, then do that, and then increase everyone's a bit. Okay. 240 grand a year. Ouch. Um, okay, that should uh, bring us in some good old cash for a little while. Saddle in the dust is ready to go. Uh, oh, shoot it. Yeah, shoot it. Go, go, go. How many scenes is it? Is it nine scenes? I think it's like a 9 c movie. That will take a while. There we go. We're back up to two already, which is great. Um, we're going to get started on a new comedy. We're just going to churn. We're just going to have a year of churning. So here we go. Because we need to get back up. Because I'm pretty sure um, that's the only way we can get new people in. Is by 
producing movies and getting up the rankings. Number two now, we should start to see a few people wanting to come and work here. Bingo Bango, we've got our first one already. We're going to give um, this young chappy here his first entourage person. Um, we've got, who's this? Let's have a look. 18 years old, um, with a little action experience, but not and not particularly good looking either, to be honest. Um, can't turn down drink. We're going to start you. You're going to become our new um, romantic uh, interest. So let's get you there. Now hold on, because you're going to instantly be hating everything. So... Oh, oh, Nip Tuck. That's going to make her look younger. I'm not too fussed about that, to be honest. Let's do Makeover, first of all. 50s. I'm sure we have uh, 60s now, don't we? No, we're still in 50s. Okay. Let's have a look at that. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, you look all right there with that. 50s. Um, form. Is the 50s... There was no 50s formally, if I remember rightly, was there? Oh no, 50s evening dress. That actually decreases the fashion a bit, so I think instead we'll just go with the uh, with the casual um casual one. 50s, what about that one? Yeah, that that's the one there. That 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 one they're loving that. Latex head. Oh nice. <laughs> We're not gonna give her a latex head. Um haircut. Let's make your hair a little bit more um, modern. Although it doesn't actually affect anything, this, I don't think. Um, not getting your rollers, no. Oh, that's good. That's nice as well. Let's have that one. Um, that's your natural hair colour. Maybe some. Maybe go dark. Yeah, okay, that looks good. Uh, eyebrows. Let's get your eyebrows on fleek. Uh, makeup. Yeah, get a bit of... Get a bit of the old makeup on there as well. That's nice. I have absolutely no idea what sort of colour she's looking here. I hope it's all okay. There we go. That looks good. Facial hair? Maybe not. Um, tattoo? Maybe not. A bit early for tattoos, isn't it? Are you going to hold your nails up? Yes, you are. Lovely. Oh, there you go. Now she looks like... Actually, I think we could do probably more with the hair. Yeah, that's more like it, isn't it? There you go. A bit, a bit glamorous. Uh, okay, so Jenny Armstrong. See, hats make you bald, don't they? Oh, look, you could do something like this and make a proper, proper, like, uh, what's the word? Like, trendy looking, you know? But we won't. We won't. We'll, we'll leave her with her hair up. Glasses. Shades could be good, but oh, a monocle? Maybe not. Um,. Sweater colour, is that? Yeah, okay, let's maybe... Oh, they're all a bit bright, aren't they? Yeah, I think it's probably better the darker colour. Um, zoom you out a little bit. Trousers, maybe. Get some... Oh, God, stripey things. They're gross. Uh, they're nice. There we go. Just sort of playing. Uh, I'd like to... I have no idea what you've got on your feet, love. I'll just we'll have to just leave what what's pretty standard. Uh, Jenny Armstrong, that is your look done. You're looking gorgeous. Um, the image has gone up a little bit. Let's get you in here for a nip tuck. And while that's happening, we'll get your uh, we'll get your trailer sorted. Okay, I'm going to struggle to fit some more trailers here, I guess. We're going to have to sort of branch out a little up to the top. Uh, are you written? Sheriff Pants? Sheriff Pants? Awesome. <laughs> um, are you using Western stuff again? I'll, I'm going to flip if you are. Saloon and Street. Being used by another movie. Yeah, isn't it? Okay, we're going to have to change this one up a little bit. Come on, then. Let's use something that just hasn't been used before. So, number one, you're our lead. Uh, <laughs> what a weird costume. Uh, Emily Dredge, you're next. Um, and the supporting is going to be... Is it you? Are you our comedy support? Yeah. The hairstyles. Fantastic. Right. We need to we need to write a comedy movie, don't we? Because this is just not good enough. We're not going to go for another action. 
So comedy, structure simple. We're going to get rid of all of these scenes and we're going to have to write a comedy scene. Okay, so I'm thinking, oops, thinking like a comedy of errors. We could do like a comedy of errors. Let's just get rid of all of these because unfortunately it doesn't. No, it doesn't clear them out when you want them to. There we go. Uh, and we're going to use some of the more modern sets, I think. We'll do this one as a bit of a modern. So we'll have him play an old man, I think. Um, so let's go back to these and, make, and set their costumes up from the beginning. Okay, so Gaz Thomas is going to be the old dude, all right? So let's make him uh, dirt. Oh, we can make the costumes dirty. That's interesting. So hat. Let's get in. Let's get in on his face. Let's really try hard here now, because um, all the hats are cowboyy. Oh, apart from that one. Um, casual, formal. Let's go. F oh yeah, police officer. There we go. Okay, you're going to be a police cop in this. And what else can we be? Fancy bartender, priest. Oh, priest. Come on, let's get a decent costume on the go. English. Classic, please. Is that what you're wearing? Right, you're going to be the priest, okay? Uh, your hair's got to change because at the moment you look like a member of the Beatles. So let's go into here and change your haircut. Oh, wow. These are awesome. Uh, I mean, I was thinking bald or at least like monkish, you know? It's like Mozart, doesn't he, when he gets going with all these lady hairs? Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking, really, but... Half of me thinks that maybe now something a bit more uh... <laughs> No, we won't we could do like a nutty professor type thing, but we use the sci-fi sets quite a bit, haven't we? Let's go back to that one there, the one, there we go. Hair colour it needs to be uh white as best we can. I hope that's white. Eyebrows, big bushy eyebrows here, guys. Thank you. Uh, no makeup, uh, facial hair. Yeah, let's have um. I don't want to do a full beard, but yeah, goatee, priest goatee. Um, press hats, lots of hats to choose from, but nothing really jumping out at me. A priest doesn't really wear a hat, does he? Body paint. Oh, okay. Jeez, they're miserable, aren't they? We have a blue priest. Nothing's here really jumping out at me again. I mean, that one's kind of that'd be good for uh, for like a horror, I think. But for this, I think we'll just keep him as uh, as 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 like that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, good. Okay. Now I hope this is just for this film. So now you. So I mean, really, we've got to do you. We've got to do Emily up like an actress, haven't we? Because it's gonna it's gonna be a bit of an actress and the bishop type thing. Um, 1950s outfit. Um, do we are we going to go like proper centurions? No, let's not. Let's go for. I mean, we could. Um, but no, I don't think so. What else have we got? Underwear? No, we're not going to go sleazy. Futuristic? No, doesn't really work. Military? No, Western. Let's just go to formal. And where's the where's the. Uh, yeah, that one. No, I don't know. What, what what's she gonna be? She's a priest. So let's let's play her up like a bit of a, a bit of a Munro. So um, haircut. We need you to have some very glamorous hair, not bald, not male. Uh, let's have a look. Something really like bouffanty. Well, that's that's kind of like the Marilyn, isn't it? It's a bit short, though. That's not bad. Yeah, that one there. There we go. Yeah, that's perfect. Hair color, um, kind of like it, like a lighter color. Yeah. Eyebrows, get your eyebrows on point. There we go. Makeup, lots of lots of makeup. Yeah. Um. There we go. She looks like she's got a bit of a stash. I'm gonna let her off though. Uh, nails. 
proper bright red nails if we can. I'm not very good with colours, but if I can usually spot red, I think that's red. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I think those first two are red, so let's go for that one. Uh, okay, Emily Dredge. That's what you're going to look like in this movie. So we've got the priest, we've got the femme fatale, and you can be Toby Molson. You're not going to be a cowboy, pal. You're going to be um, oh a biker. Yeah, okay, this is cool. We're going to get we're going to get some trendy stuff going on here. Or oh, high school jock, uh, or a bum. A bum. That's a very different word in the UK, but that's like a tramp. Yeah, let's do him like a. Let's do him like a tramp, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, let's do that. So, let's zoom in. Uh, let's go on the head here and see what's going on. Body paint, let's see if we've got like a, if there was just like a relatively dirty one. No, they're all pretty <laughs> horrific, aren't they? Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll leave the body paint. Uh, glasses? No, you wouldn't have glasses, would you? Tramp? Let's have a look. See if we've got like a classic sort of tramp hat. Uh, you know, big sort of floppy. They kind of fit. Are we just going around again? Yeah, no, no, nothing really jumping out at me. It's a tramp hat, actually. Um, you know, like a big floppy hat. Uh, haircut. Then let's get something. <laughs> That's all the ladies' haircuts. Let's get through those and get something a little bit more. Dishevelled. There we go. Here's, there we go. It's got to be that one, hasn't it? The one that the game loves putting people in. Dark hair, uh, facial hair. We want a big old beard. Yeah, there we go. I don't actually know. Do you know what? I'm not into the bald hair, but I do need something that's a bit more dishevelled. I mean, there's that one, I suppose. Hmm. No, it's that. I mean, that one, yeah, that could be more like a. Like a slightly done up tramp. <laughs> Tattoo. No, that's just really jumping out at me there. Nails. We just have normal nails, pal. Uh, okay. And now this is called um, the tramp. Oops. Even though. Even though the, uh, the tramp is just a small part in it, we're going to be quite indie. Um, okay. Okay, I don't know what they're all doing. Uh, so the, he's going to be called uh, Father Father Phil Haddy. No, that's an awful name. Father uh, Father Goo Little. Father Goo Little. Emily Dredge is going to be called um, uh, Vixen. Vixen Galore. That's <laughs> making these up as I go along. Uh, and Raphael is he's just gonna be called the Tramp in this. Is it that? There we go. The Tramp. Okay. So the intro is gonna be the priest uh getting ready. Oh, let's have a look. The priest gonna be getting ready in his house. In an office. In a graveyard. Okay. So, priests walking through the graveyard. There we go. Uh, enter cold. Um, yeah, okay. So, zoom in. And it's, I just want... No, 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 no. Okay, so it's fine. I, he's, I'm happy him looking cold. Um, you're not in this scene. Now, okay, let me try and remember how we did this now. There's a way to change it so is that... There we go. Lead role, first supporting, second supporting, extra. Would a mannequin director won't appear in your movie if you don't assign them? Okay, so you now are not in the film. Right, there we go. That's how we get rid of stuff. So the next thing we have to check is props. Uh, or backgrounds, actually, yeah. Because at the moment, what, what's the background we've got? It's just like a generic graveyard. But this, let's make this a bit more... Uh, Near town, um, cemetery day, cemetery night, city street corner. What does that look like? Could be like an inner city, inner city background. There we go. 
Uh, weather and lighting. Lighting is going to be. What are the choices? So nighttime, daytime, weather, raining. Yeah, let's have the rain coming down. Okay. So, priest comes in to the graveyard. He's going to see a tramp hanging out. All right, so we need to find... Uh, here we go. Here's a, here's a tramp having a kip. So let's, let's have a look at the options here. Duration, short. Oh, there he is. Yeah, perfect. Um, you're going to be second supporting, though. There we go. Trump wakes up. Um, all right, good. Okay, so Trump wakes up. Um, I'd like like an, uh, an argument, not violence, but but kick, you know, kicking off. Um. Uh, what's the tantrum look like? Let's have a look at that. Okay, we can put... What's location two? Yes, he's a grave digger. He's not a tramp. Perfectly. Yeah, there we go. It wants to be a bit over the top. Uh, so, second party roll. Here we go. Get back to work. Oh, no, it was raining before, wasn't it? Let's, let's, let's make it rain again. That's good. It wasn't raining here, was it? We need to turn the rain on here. Right. Let's just see if there's like a like a more of a wake up, a wake up scene, you know. Um, let's search. Awaken. What does that one look like? Oh, okay. So that's just like a. Let's move you in there and make it you. I don't necessarily want it to be a corpse. <laughs> What's the camera angle on it? Let's have a look. Oh. Oh, that's good. So yeah, we'll have that. Okay, so he wakes up. So, so Priest walks in, wakes up. Um, yeah, there we go. Okay, good. Up and about. Okay, so we need we need actually we need we need a tantrum we need a we need somebody angry again. Um, so rural graveyard. So let's search for angry. Oh, angry. Uh, cell phone angry. No, not cell phone angry. Uh, let's turn off suggested and see what the options are. No, no, no. Um, is tell off something? No. Uh, argue. Or maybe they spell arguments, is it? Heated argument, couple argument. Two people argue, two people have a heated argue. Let's try couple argument. Okay. No, I don't want him. I don't want him hitting each other. We can trim it, can't we? Yeah, that's the bit I like. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're gonna have to try and trim this one a little. Oops, <laughs> didn't mean to do that at all. Advanced editor. This video is half an hour long. Oh my word! I might put this out as a two-parter. Um, okay, so let's move you to. He's woke up. 
Okay, so scene one. Priest walks in. Uh, guy wakes up. Where is he doing it now? Oh yeah, he's in there, isn't he? Okay, good. Um, they have an argument. And it's in this nice rain. And then they... And then he gets him back to work. Okay, so there we go. There's part one. Part one of the uh, of the tramp with, that we are now going to rename the Grave Digger. Is it... <coughs> Excuse me, this is going to be hilarious, this movie. Um, the Grave Digger. Where is... Where's where's Em Ali gone? Get back here, Em. Why, why, why have you not saved? Why... <laughs> <laughs> Jenny Armstrong's in Nip Tuck in Shane. Uh, Vixen. Uh, Vix, what did we say her name was? Vixen Galore. Okay, Vixen Galore. We'll I'll have to quickly redo her again because for some reason it hasn't saved. So I'll just do this. Hold on one moment. Okay, we're, we're done. A slight change of plan though. Emily, uh, Vixen Galore or something uh, needs to be um, uh, the court. Okay, so we're, we're, we're changing it around a little, okay, and we're going to make her look still femme fatale, because I think it's a good look for the movie, but uh, you need to look rough, basically. Um, oh, it's just the face paint, that's a shame. I was really hoping that, oh, there we go, that's more like it. Yeah, you need to look like a, a femme fatale zombie, there we go, good. <laughs> okay, so what I've done is uh, made it so that, that, she's, that, she, that they joke, so... So the guy comes in, it's all wet, I've got to make sure it's water everywhere actually, and also the backdrop, and then he wakes up, um, canvas, no, what is it, city corner day, there we go, and also that the weather's raining. Right, and then, is that, is that him getting up? Yeah, there we go, so that's him getting up. Which also needs to be uh, CC Day. So he wakes up. Okay, and then he's angry at him. It's already night time there, but it isn't uh, the city. Where we go? High right? No, it wasn't high rise cityscape. Just normal city scene. City street corner day. There we go. Uh, he's angry at him, and then he's. Going to work while he digs. It's not a great camera angle, that one, is it? Oh, camera. Mm, never mind. Um, that's that one, yeah. And then. So, oh, did we set the cityscape on that one? There we go. And then this thing comes out of the coffin. Okay. Are there other people in this? Oh, it was a one-shot wonder. So let's make it the uh, the right picture and the right weather. Good. Comes out. He's going to be super scared. At this, by the way, because it's you know scary stuff. And then I think it's him running off. Yeah, by her while he <laughs> face she balls is great while he carries on digging. <laughs> um, there we go. So it's a comedy horror, and then it shows you again him running off, just running out of the building basically. It's just a nice little quick cut. Um, and I think I'm gonna worry about the backdrop on that one. And then on this one, it shows you him laughing. He thinks it's hilarious. And I mean, let's be honest, it is hilarious. The guy's fearing for his life. Um, and then it shows you him paying her. Right, Haha, -ha, turns out she's an actor. And that's the big sort of funny finish. <laughs> I don't know. It is what it is. Um, and then it shows them just walking off in the, into the sunset, so to speak, just to kind of finish it up. Okay. Right, happy with that. 
Uh, it's given us a three-star movie, near enough, and it's only costing us 13 grand to make as well. That's pretty cheap, but that's that's just for sets and stuff, isn't it? Uh, pack unlocked. So we've got a nice film now. So let's get you casting. No extras there shouldn't be. That's good. Uh, comedy director is on it. Okay. We're now in the swinging 60s. Uh, this bat, this uh, space fight, you guys, is no longer making money, so we'll drop that into archive. We've got you making money. We're already recording Saddle in the Dust, and the Grave Digger is underway as well. So the Grave Digger will be uh, will be our movie, our big movie next episode. Uh, but at least this one, we got the biggest date in the world out there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Sorry, it's a bit longer. Um, it's just taking a bit longer to get stuff done in this game now, isn't it? So uh, give the star a raise. We'll promote their move and make sure you can afford it first. We can afford it. Is it you? Who's not happy? Is it? Um, you're not even on my list, love. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you're gonna have to come right up to ten grand. You haven't even been in a movie yet. Um, okay, good. Everyone else is pretty happy. That's what I like to see. Thanks very much for watching. Like I say, sorry, it is a bit of a longer one. Um, it just takes a bit longer to do, doesn't it? Thanks um, so much. Give us a like if you've enjoyed it. And uh, if you've not already, don't forget to subscribe. Any thoughts, queries, or suggestions, you can come down in the comments. Fancy chat, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at John T. Sparrow. And uh, if you'd like to uh, join in with the Geekism community, you can do so over on our Geekism Discord server. You'll find the link to that in the description. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.